What's up everybody? Today is day 16 and today we are gonna make loriguitas, which is a new pasta for us. So hope you're ready. It's gonna be a ride a what it's gonna be a wild ride. Let's check it out. Let's go. If you're new here, we're making pasta for a hundred days, and this is the simple ingredients you need. One and a half cups semolina flour, two eggs. This is just all-purpose flour for dusting and olive oil, about a tablespoon. And then you're gonna use like a little bit of water as needed. And now we're gonna knead for about 10 minutes. Hey Josh, so tell us, what do you do from here? Well, you take it. Don't touch it. And you just go. <clears throat> oh, don't touch it. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bad boy right in half. Is. You always put your dough back in your bag so it doesn't dry out. So now you're gonna wrap it around two fingers, one loop, and then another. And you're gonna interlace them. Oh, Loriquitas. Say it with me. Loriquitas. 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 I'm gonna make pasta tonight, too. Mm. Annie's four cheese mini penne pasta. Oh, I see that. I can make pasta, too. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere. I started out in the pasta box, and now look at me. I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but I mean, look at these. And I definitely have one favorite. I would say it, out of all of these cute little guys, it's probably this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the sauce that I made the other day. Check out that vlog. I made the capellini, the angel hair. Um, this one I made the sauce. All right, I'm attempting to cook this like my friend Melissa told me to do. And that was just to lower the heat and let it keep simmering for a little while that sauce is already done so i took one out and it was pretty dense after even a minute so i'm hoping that if i just let it boil for a little longer it'll soften it up again so let's try it out we'll see wearing a white shirt eating red sauce mmm good there's this thing about fresh pasta that apparently you're supposed to cook for like 30 seconds to like a minute, right? Oh, really? But then I always feel like I just don't think it's, it's enough. Mushy? I don't know. Oh. I get nervous that it's not enough. Not enough? And then cook. like, maybe if I just cook it longer, it'll get good. Well, I tried that again and it still didn't work. I boiled them for 10 minutes and I was a little nervous if I kept going. I'm like, maybe if they're eventually they're gonna get soft if we just keep boiling, right? right. I was thinking like, what if they become like little mini bagels? <laughs> I eat those for breakfast. I was thinking like, this might become a bagel if I don't stop. Do you know how to make bagels? I don't, but I think it's something like boiling dough. Dough? So I got nervous. Could you make us bagels after you're done with this whole pasta thing? Oh, it could be part of it. It's pasta. No, no, it's not. Should we go on to the interview or do you have more? Um. It's just dense again. Why do I keep doing this? I why think why don't to... you tell us what you have for today? This is um, uh, Lorignetti. <laughs> That's how I say it. Lorignetti. Ooh, that mm. was neat. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm hard to pronounce. What kind of sauce you got there? Red. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I should wait till you're done chewing. Um, it's a red sauce that I made on my Capellini episode. 
Did you have a sous chef for that? Who was assisting yeah, you? Yeah, Jake Felsa was there. Oh, okay. And he helped me make it, and it's delicious. I wish I could eat more of it. I heard he was quitting Yam House. Mm -hmm. To work in your restaurant, is that Yeah, he's he's no longer a part of the band anymore. So it's official. Yeah, don't tell anyone though. It's our secret. If he sees it, he sees it. But has he told Yam House yet? He hasn't told Yam House. So if they oh, see this video, dude. there's gonna be problems. This is like e news or something. <laughs> right? Is that there's not much to review here because it's a really simple Italian dish. I really like the shape of the Lor Lorenghetti. Lorenghetti? No. I I'm gonna go look it up. Okay. Welcome oh, back what a, to our <laughs> what a what a knowledgeable field trip. Today we're eating loreguitas, which is a braided like pasta, as you see here. Um, and then you take this and you put it in here. In Italian, loreguita. See, si, see. Si, si. So um, in Italy, the word loreguita actually comes from the word lorega, loriga, loriga, which means. Um, it's actually the brace that they would put around the cow, the cows, the cattle. Um, and it kind of looks like that. It's kind of like... What would the brace do? Hold them, I think. On the wagon, or...? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I've never been an old Italian man. You've never been a farmer before? What's a cattle? Is cattle a horse? Yeah. A cow's not a horse. I mean a cow. <laughs> yeah, a cow's a cow. You wouldn't put that on a cow, though. You'd probably put it on a horse. Like an ox or something. If oh, you're working yeah. the field. Maybe it's an ox. So I think the verdict is pasta is really great when you cook it great. <laughs> Secondly, make good sauces because that makes all the difference. Thirdly, if that's a word, which it is, you should always talk to your friends while you're eating. It's not what you eat, it's who you eat it with. Actually, I think you're wrong. <laughs> Here's the deal. There we go. It's not just about who you eat with, but it's about bringing quality ingredients with quality people to, to a quality, quality table. <laughs> we don't have a quality. This is from Ikea. It costs like 40 bucks. Thanks for joining us today on day 16 of the pasta challenge. Today we made logaritas and it was amazing. So I encourage you to make some food at home with your friends, with your family, whoever you're quarantined with right now and enjoy your life. If you didn't like what you saw tonight, just go ahead and double tap that dislike button. Get your anger out. Come back tomorrow. Oh, nice. Like and subscribe to my video. Share it with some friends. If it brought you joy, it probably will bring someone else joy. So, see you later. See you tomorrow.